I'm sure some of you remember uh, my infamous speech at uh, the Westby's a couple of years ago. I still get some stuff for that. So you know I like to talk. So if I go a little bit over today, you just help me out. But um, so my name is Adam Carswell, broadcast communi uh, communications student here at Westminster. Uh, play basketball, run track here. Uh, everything here at Westminster has been, been pretty good for me. I uh, really love this school. Um, got five siblings, uh, one of which is right here today. We got an older brother named Mikey who just turned uh, 27 yesterday, a sister who plays volleyball up at uh, Adrian College in Michigan. She's a junior. Um, another little brother who's a freshman in high school and another little sister who's in eighth grade. So got a pretty big family, uh, awesome parents, Mike and Diane Carr as well who I was thinking about, and I'm not really sure, but I think they've been married for 25 years now. Uh, I think when they see this video, they'll probably laugh about it, because, I mean, I don't know, but all I know is that they made me, so that's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're from uh, Painesville, Ohio, which is about half hour east of Cleveland, uh, five minutes off of Lake Erie. And, uh, you know, I'm a Cleveland fan, everything. Yesterday was a little rough with the uh, Eagles. Uh, my RD right here. Uh, Tom Benjamin is from Philadelphia. He hasn't really rubbed anything in my face yet, which is good, but I was getting a lot from Steelers fans yesterday. Just to have Peyton Manning kind of do his thing last night on national TV was nice. Um, I was very happy that that happened. <clears throat> but, so you know, that's just a little bit about me. Um, i was been raised in a Christian uh, household, you know, ever since I was little. I uh, could talk, you know, read whatever. Uh, my mom and dad had me memorizing scripture. Um, always went to church, you know, every Sunday, this and that, and, uh, uh, you know, taught good morals, and, uh, you know, I, if you would like to say, you know, I was raised the right way, and I've just been really blessed to have been raised the way I was, um, but just because I was raised that way didn't mean that I always uh, lived that way. You know, when I was little, you know, when you're in Sunday school and you sing, like, Jesus loves me, like, you just sing it because all the other kids around you are singing it, like, you don't really know what it means, and so, uh, you know, uh, probably up until like freshman year of high school, you know, I was really, um, I wouldn't say all out for my faith in, in Jesus, but, you know, I was living a good life. And then sophomore year of high school was kind of when the, you know, the rebellious stage kicked in and, you know, I wanted to really fit in with the cool kids and <clears throat> they didn't really uh, play to my advantage as much as I thought, uh, even during it all, you know, the people that I was hanging out with, you know, I thought I was um, doing, you know, what I wanted to do, which was be cool and be bad and be a rebel. And, um, you know, I wasn't living by any means the way that I was raised. So, um, and, you know, going from my senior year of high school into my uh, freshman year of college, things got really bad for me, and um, I almost actually ended up not even coming uh, to Westminster. Um, you know, I was just blessed to have the parents that I have, and you know, if, if they didn't cut me off from the way I was, that I was living, um, you know, I, things could have gotten really bad. And um, so coming into uh, that, that August before school started, uh, you know, got caught red-handed with some stuff that probably shouldn't have been getting into and um, they kind of you know locked me up uh, put me in their own jail and at that time uh, you know I was really self-centered and I thought that um, you know like the world was against me and like my parents didn't know like how I felt and this and that you know they took my, my cell phone away which like that was like my key to life right there <laughs> um, and but during that period where they kind of shut me down and I kind of hit rock bottom, I guess for the first time was when I like started to really uh, realize um, what I needed to do like with my life and how I was living and it wasn't really the right thing. So, um, you know, I kind of straightened up a little bit and then I got here to Westminster. Uh, fortunately, I didn't have to go to community